Hey, welcome back to the build show. I know we're out here, the house is getting framed, but we're gonna go back a couple steps. We'll talk about basement drainage and foundation drainage. We didn't have the opportunity to get up here when they were backfilling, but we can do everything we need to do right from here. So let's talk about what we're doing here. It's a traditional 10 inch concrete wall, 3,500 pound PSI, very traditional what's happening here. But notice a couple things. We have that beautiful green line. We have a spray applied membrane that goes onto the uh, foundation. And then we have a protection board, insulation board down there. So it works as a system basically. So the foundation protection board, actually we have a piece right here. If we look really close, you'll notice that it has a very specific orientation. Well, the beauty of that orientation is, is that it allows moisture or water to traverse it down that orientation all the way to the bottom. So as I take this insulation board and basically put it on the foundation wall, any moisture that migrates into there is basically gonna fall along those multiple layers of that insulation board and it'll go down to the drain tile and later we'll take a walk over and I'll show you in this particular project we actually have the ability to drain to daylight. We're not going to a sump pump. Because the grade works in our favor, we're able to take our down and out, out to a drain and put that water back in nature. Let's get back on this wall and talk about it a little bit more specifically. So, <clears throat> we have that protection board. I just talked about how it works well with the drainage, but it does something else too. It provides protection for the spray applied membrane as the excavator backfills the hole. So as we have this hole here where the foundation guy needed to do his work, well, as we're putting that dirt back, this allows for this not to get challenged. So this is really the barrier that is our water management layer. This just takes care of as much water as it possibly can before we actually challenge the layer that is supposed to be kind of the Alamo or the last shot of water getting in there. Now, one of the interesting things is, notice the green line. We're gonna jump back, we're gonna talk about it, go back to the drafting table, and we're gonna talk about exactly what that green line means. But that's basically the coordination between my efforts on the drafting table and then Brian's efforts out here with Howell Custom Builders and doing a good job. So let's jump over there, but before we get to that drafting table, let's see where we bleed this water out to daylight. Talk to you in a bit. So here we are, we're on the outside of the house, down slope of the house, and you see a couple pipes in front of me there. Well, we talked about the drainage system up there above the house. We'll talk about it on the drafting table, but I just wanted to show you what the outlets look like when it says drain to daylight. Basically, true to their, the words, drain to daylight. These footing drains and interior perimeter drain do nothing but just come out here and take any water that's accumulated, like we talked about, around the foundation, and it just disperses it back into nature here. So basically, you know, if you follow along with those control layers, remember my two favorite words when it, we're dealing with water, down and out. Here we're flowing down and out. Get the water away from the house. Get rid of the problem. Hey, welcome back. So we're out here at the drafting table now. Thanks for joining me out at the job site. We're in here and we're going to talk about that exterior drainage foundation detail foundation plan. We're going to talk about a few things here that have to deal with everything that's happening underground that we weren't able to see there. So got my friend Big Red here. So let's have at it. 